Welcome back to the channel, my RC peeps. How y'all doing out there? We well, got some really exciting news today. Today we're going to talk about this Apollo 2 1A Off-Road Pro RTR bucket. This is from our uh, S-Works. Uh, we're going to start carrying S-Works now. And of course, for us to carry them, that means we got to run our own on the track to see how well they perform or don't perform. Uh, I heard some good things about S Works. Uh, uh, they are professional running. They are professional running individual tracks. They are on the tracks doing big things, running good, and I'm excited to see about this RTR. All right, now that we have the uh, box open, see what comes in the RTR. They actually have like they own. S Works actually have like they own little uh, nitro starter pack. Comes with the uh, fuel bottle, fuel bottle, that's the cap, plastic bag. Comes with the uh, glow igniter. So, yeah, okay. Comes with their own uh, glow igniter version. The Pro Lux LED glow. That's wild how it looks similar to the uh, Dynamite LiPo charger. So, we're going to get that charged up and see how well or not well it works. But it looks very close to the dynamite light bulb charger. So that comes with it as well. Also, you get your uh, two spare bumpers. Yeah, series front bumpers. So you get your two uh, spare front bumpers that you can put on. Of course, you get your four tires. Now, the four tires. Now, the tires, they feel good. We'll see how they grip on the track. Do not like the wheels at all. These are not track. These are not track friendly wheels. When you're on the track, you don't want anything that could get wet. It could get wet. That means that dust or dirt or nitro oil gets on it. It will accumulate on your wheels and therefore take them off balance. And you will notice the performance uh, in your in your vehicle. So that's why you mostly see solid dish wheels when you're running on the track. So yeah, these wheels are not looking good at all, but the tires feeling like a soft to medium compound is in there. They feel kind of like a thick compound, like you would get from VP or ProMotion. So those tires are feeling pretty good. I'm liking the tires, but we could do without the wheels. But we're going to um, put it on the track as is, just to see how the uh, stock tires do perform or don't perform. So of course you get four tires, you get a plastic plate that uh, comes with it. These look like they have some uh, real mud guards that you can put in there, that's cool. You can really see them on some RTR. You have extra servo horns, it's just a pack with extra plastic pieces. This is your rear uh, toe in, toe out mounts. Nice little plastic pack that comes with it as well. Also of course it comes with the uh, your little generic Allen wrenches, Allen wrenches, comes with your spark plug, tire removal lug, and these are your four wheel nuts, so you can uh, put your wheels on. So, oh, that's looking nice, looking like a little few extra things you get in the RTR that you uh, don't even get with like the Losi RTR, uh, the Nitro Starter Kit. It's real nice with a nice fuel bottles, nice uh, glow. Plug. I can't wait to check this out right here and a few uh, other extras also the radio the radio so the radio comes with the uh, S works it's really probably a fly sky look just like the fly sky GT5 only difference is it doesn't have the rechargeable batteries you have to place your own batteries in there for Four AA batteries, but uh, it looks like your basic just Fly Sky GT5 remote uh, branded S works. So it's looking nice. This is an okay remote. You're not able to sit in the end points. You're not able to sit in the end points or anything like that. But I've had great success with these remotes, and they work pretty good. So of course we're going to run this RTR remote for a while as well. And now, of course, the part that we all want to see, 
the car itself. Now the car itself is looking on uh, real nice, real nice. They use pillow balls. So those of you who are familiar with the pillow ball action, uh, that is what Ish works using their uh, 18 buggies, also in their 18 truckies. Has a very nice uh, thick aluminum. Has a very nice thick aluminum shock tower. Uh, aluminum shocks. Let's see, they have the uh, 40 weight already installed in their front and rear uh, shocks. So that's a good, that's a good plus thing. They don't come with the tires installed, so you will have to just put them on yourself. Which uh, that that is fine. Very nice vented wings. The wings have the vents in it with the pretty durable plastic. They're built on them. Uh, so that looks very nice. The bottom of the chassis has that 707, I think it's called aluminum, but with the coating on it. It's the same coating that they put in their uh, kits, in their S-Works kits. So that also comes with the STR, which makes that chassis extra strong, super strong, look real nice. Of course, with the S-Works logo uh, is on there. So all that is very, very nice. Like in the way it looks uh, so far. Let's turn it back around. Like in the way it looks so far. The uh, the pre-painted body. Of course, it's just a very thin RTR body. Um, yeah, they're very thin. But I believe it'll get you through what you're trying to get to. Until you can get your own body painted up. Do your own style. So it comes with that, the pre-painted body. Now we have the internals. Internal, of course, you have the air filter. This works has their own little version of the air filter, but it almost oval, like the Kyosho's, like semi oval. But they also have their own little version. It comes with uh, the servos. These are Servox, Servox branded uh, servos. It comes with, I think, this is uh, 25 kg and 20 kg for the steering. I mean. 25 kg, I'm sorry, for the steering, and uh, 20 kg for your throttle and brakes. So that looks very, very nice. Uh, also comes with your weight holes. So if you needed to add weights in the rear, also there are some in the front. You can add weights to balance it out if you need an even jumping. Spot here for your uh, electronic switch. The RTR comes with the manual switch, but there is a place if you want to include your electronic switch. There are there are kits, the buggy and the kit comes with an electronic switch. And you don't have the need for the manual switch at all. Does not come with the uh, battery. I have in here installed the uh, Protec, the LOSI. The LOSI is the flatter battery of the uh, Protec LiPos, the 2S LiPos. So I have a 2S LiPo Protec battery lays down in there nice and flat. That's what uh, I have installed and that's what we're gonna run it off of. Uh, comes with some nice carbon fiber pieces. It has a uh, carbon fiber top, goes over the spur gear here. Comes with the dual fronts. Comes with the great thick shock wings. S power uh, engine. This is a .21, which is really an alpha. .21, standard plug, it's not a, it's a standard plug, it's not a turbo. Uh, so, can't wait to see how the Alpha .21 inches perform. Comes with a tune pipe. This looks kind of eh, semi <laughs> on the polish. Of course, we can get a better tune pipe, but I can't wait to see how it runs with this particular pipe on. I love the way that they come already with the uh, muffler, with the muffler springs. Instead of like every other RTR kit with the rubber silicone in the two zip ties that don't hold on for two seconds first jump they come loose and your pipe is hanging out but uh that's nice these come on um, with the actual springs itself it only has one header spring on here and let me see does it have that second hole for the no it does not this pipe does not even have the second hole where you can put two header springs on there but of course once we change the pipe out We'll put double header springs on there. Uh, comes, of course, with a pull start, like all RTRs do. We're going to quickly get rid of that. 
so we could put a back plate on there and get way better performance way better low end performance on our engine so we're gonna definitely take off the pull start put a back plate on there get him uh, situated for that ultimate we're gonna use the ultimate starter box put him on there so we'll be able to crank him much easier and like I said way better performance so we get rid of that but you know it feels pretty good it has a little thick has a thick rope on on the pull start it also has the stop I like this it has a stop right here so that cord won't go all the way down in which helps less with the breaking of the cord so it can stick out and uh, protrude also better so that is a plus and looking good and I guess that's about it. Overall, it's looking like a pretty nice RTR buggy, especially for the price and compared to many other RTR nitros out there. You're getting better quality products, quality looking things, and like I said, it's looking real, looking real, real nice. So I can't wait to break him in, heat him up, and try him out. And of course, we're going to make a video of that as well so that's about it i want to do a quick look version of the apollo 2 once again this is the x-works apollo 2 nitro rtr buggy uh we're going to start carrying them now they will be listed up on the website so of course we're going to be out here on the track running it real hard putting it through its paces see how it holds up or if it don't hold up and of course we're going to make a video about that too too so stay tuned and very soon thank you so much for your time hope to see you trackside